Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a reveal and review of my Chanel Mini Urban Spirit backpack. Now let's get into it. If you're new here, my name is Tarina and welcome back if you're already part of our Lux Handbag Lover community. I put out videos every Tuesday and Saturday about luxury fashion, travel, and lifestyle. If you're a Lux lover too, I'd really appreciate if you would join me here by subscribing to my channel and hit that like button down below. Also, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. Before I get into the reveal and review of my mini Urban Spirit backpack, I wanted to share this catalog and magazine that I received from Chanel in the mail. So this shows the spring summer 2020 ready to wear campaign and collection. So I thought it'd be fun to share with all of you. So this is a really cute um, little magazine catalog. As you can see, it shows Kristen Stewart on the very cover of this booklet. She is the face of this campaign. So if you've taken a look or seen any of the other marketing or advertising material for this spring summer 2020 collection, you'll see her on the Chanel website. So really cute she, on the very front here, she is in this tweed set. So it's a tweed, classic tweed Chanel jacket with the matching shorts. So it's a, it's a really cute uh, two piece set. And there's a little matching mini flap. In, in tweed. So if you're new to Chanel, they're really well known for their tweed. So very intricate detail, really gorgeous, ready to wear pieces. So ready to wear means just their clothing pieces, jackets, shorts, um, tops and bottoms. So you can see here, that's, that's what she's wearing. And then there's the matching mini flap. It's super cute. So she also has a pair of uh, classic shoes. Again, Chanel is really well known for the classic black cap toe. So she's wearing a white pair of flat shoes. It has an ankle strap and the classic black cap toe. At the very front, Chanel included, um, it's a little hard, I'll include some photos, but Chanel included uh, a really amazing kind of note here. So essentially the gist of this note really is saying that it starts with Chanel spring summer 2020 ready to wear campaign. We hope this message finds you and your loved ones healthy and well. So, you know, they are acknowledging the current pandemic situation, you know, we're all going through this. I really truly hope all of you are staying safe and healthy with your loved ones during this time and, and that, you know, the world does go back to normal very, very soon. So Chanel is acknowledging that, you know, our first priority is ensuring the health, health and safety of our teams, partners, and clients. We remain hopeful and optimistic and can't wait to welcome you to our boutiques again. So I know that they have been you know, I have heard that they've been taking good care of their employees during this time. They have reopened a few of the boutiques here in the US. So they are starting to, you know, get clients back. I know they are taking the precautions to keep everyone safe while shopping. So again, they're just talking about this collection. You know, the Chanel Spring Summer 2020 Ready to Wear campaign photographed by Jean-Baptiste Mondino, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, and featuring Kristen Stewart, an ambassador for Chanel. Again, she's a partner with Chanel for a number of years. Um, so these zero gravity shots echo the runway show imagined by Virginie at the Grand Palais where the models walked over the rooftops of Paris. So I will include some screenshots and photos from this collection and this runway show. As mentioned here, the set for the Chanel show that they're referencing, the models walked along and it looked like they were walking on the rooftops of Paris. It was really cute, really 
really made you feel um, part of that. That's the one thing I personally really love about the Chanel runway shows specifically, um, especially in the time of Carl, Carl Lagerfeld, who unfortunately passed away, but you know, very imaginative. imaginative. They take you to a different place. Uh, so I will show some different screenshots and, and different, uh, a few of my favorite shows. And then again, I know I want to share more about my backpack, so I don't wanna to take too much time, but I just thought this was really cute. Um, you know, really good photos of the collection. Um, sorry if there's a bit of a reflection, but you can see Kristen here. She has really cute um, necklaces and pieces. You know, a lot of their fashion jewelry is, uh, you know, shown here. Um, so a lot of great ready to wear pieces. Um, really cool. Um, I have, uh, I have a few ready to wear pieces from Chanel. So I, I really love looking at the, these ready to wear or clothing pieces. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested or would want to see a ready to wear collection, or if you want to see some of my pieces, let me know in the comment section down below. So love this. I think it's really cool to stay inspired. Um, of course, this is uh, the little famous um, piece, the, um, the little cosmetic uh, square pouch that everyone loves. I lo I've seen a lot of people with this in the, in the black. I've seen it in the pink, so really cute. Um, it was at a really good price point as well. So again, I think it's really cool that they shared this. Um, at the very end of this, there is a, um, a little booklet. So it has some photos of the products. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it does have a number of the products. It has the pricing here. So if there are any items that you know catch your eye, you can see what the pricing are what those um, product numbers are so that you can connect with your SA, so your sales associate or your client advisor, um, and they can purchase and help you secure the item. So really cute. Um, I would say that, you know, again, a number of jackets, tweed jackets, shorts, pullovers, a lot of tweed, a lot of classic. Um, colorways, black, um, some pink, really classic florals. So really cute. I, I really like this. I'll have to take a closer look at these items, see if there's anything that ca uh, you know that catches my eye that I have to get. But but really cute. And then it opens up fully to an image. So pretty pretty cute. You can see again Kristen here in the all pink outfit. So really adorable. So again, products, and then it has the spring summer. So I just wanted to quickly show that um, and share since I got that in the mail. So let me know, have any of you received that piece or, or that little booklet from, from your sales associate, your SA? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, so I wanted to just quickly talk about my Chanel Mini Urban Spirit backpack. Um, you know, just a quick reveal, review my thoughts, why I initially got it. So as you can see, it is a backpack. So it has the leather straps where you can wear it um, on both of your shoulders. You could wear it um, styled, just hanging off of one shoulder. It's really cute. The back, it does have um, a pocket here. So you can, you know, put something in there. I wouldn't necessarily put a phone in there, but maybe if you're, you have any like quick receipts or if you're using public transit or something like a car, something flat that, you know, you want to keep secure in the back. Um, I, I don't normally put anything there, but that's, that's what the back looks like. The front, very classic. This is in the calf skin. So this is in uh, black calf skin with the gold hardware. So black and gold is the very classic 
colorway and, and um, you know, very Chanel black and gold. So it has this pull, uh, you know, this chain detail towards the top that you can also hold. It's really cute. You can style it, you know, just as more of a handbag on, on social media or, or just kind of, you can put it through your arm. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see me fully, but you can put it through your arm and kind of walk that way if you don't want to wear it fully as a backpack. So it's pretty versatile, uh, handheld. And then of course, when you pull the straps, then that will go through. So really cute. Again, this is the mini size. So they have this in a number of different sizes. Um, I believe there are four sizes. I will include some photos if I can find them. This is the very smallest size, the mini. They initially didn't come out with a mini size. I think it was just a small, which is the size bigger than this. I actually, when I went into the Chanel boutique, I wasn't sure which size would work best for me. So I was pretty open to either the, this mini or the small. But when I tried it on in the boutique, um, I am more petite on, on the shorter side. I'm 5'3". I'm so I even asked my SA, the, the sales associate, and she said, no, the mini's cuter. The mini is, you know, looks better on you. So that was really cool. Um, it has the classic twist lock here. So, you know, you just have to turn it and open. It opens up and it's kind of a drawstring uh, opening and bag. So you can actually fit quite a lot. It looks like a little tiny mini bag, but for me, I, I don't carry a ton. Typically I, I just need my essentials, card holder, keys, you know, some things like that. So this is actually a really good size for me. It has a big opening. You can see, I do have a, uh, bag organizer, purse organizer in there. This is from Samorga. So I will sh take that out and show you in a second. I'll also just quickly share what's in my bag um, for, for this. So you folks have seen this item in, in my previous video. Uh, I do have my red uh, snap closure classic uh, card holder. So, so that's what I'm using today. I also have my Louis Vuitton key clay, so very classic. If you're looking to get into Chanel, you know, they, they're they small leather goods, or you'll hear the term SLGs, you know, are really good. So card holders, um, you know, key pouches, little wallets, um, because they have, it's this canvas material, if you can hear that. You know, it's very, very durable. It. it lasts for, for many, many years and still looks really good. So the key clay, I highly recommend. And then the only other thing that I have um, here is my round coin purse. So this is also from Louis Vuitton. Really durable, really, really cute. So I love that. Um, and then I will take out the purse organizer and kind of show you folks. So again, this is from Samorga. And so, um, you know, initially I wasn't one to do the purse organizer thing. So if you don't know, you can purchase purse organizers and put them into your bag. So bags like this that are typically just a big opening, or if you ever feel like you have a bag and it doesn't have to be a designer or luxury bag, but if you feel like, you know, it's a big tote or it's just a big, um, black hole and things get lost. Uh, you know, the purse organizers, they fit and are designed for specific types of sizes of bags and they organize, uh, which is their goal, um, your items. So they have pockets, different slots to help keep you organized as opposed to just a bag, a big black hole. So that's what I really like about that. I'll kind of show you what I mean. So this, like I said, this is the one that I have from Samorga. So it's a really cute hot pink color. And Samorga, if you don't know, is again a purse organizer brand. Um, they do a number of different styles. So this one specifically is made for the mini Urban Spirit backpack. So they, you know, measure the bag and create it. So it's a little open thing. Um, you can put your items, there's some slots, some organization. 
again, it's just nice to have um, that organization, some slots and to keep you, uh, you know, organized. I keep saying organized, but it's an organizer. So it's really, really good. The also, the other good thing is you can choose your color. So as you can see, I chose a hot pink. I really like that or I like really bright colors, especially for a black bag. So I have a lot of black bags. Now that I've taken the organizer out, you can just see what I mean when it's a big um, black dark hole and you just throw things in there, things get lost. Um, and so getting a nice bright color and if you have a dark piece, right, it stands out. You can see where things are as opposed to throwing something in and it's dark and black and it's there's no light. So that's what I really like about that. That organizer, Samorga, highly recommend. I, I'm not sponsored or, or don't partner with them in any way, but I really like organizers. Uh, Samorga's really good. So it's just a, again, a big opening. And the only other thing that's included is there is at the very back, again, it's hard with the black, but there is a zipper here. So a zipper at the very back. It's very flat though, so you can't really, you can't really fit much in there. Um, when I purchased the bag, that's where they put the um, authenticity card. So the sh every Chanel bag that you purchase, you get a sh Chanel authenticity card. Every bag has a unique number associated with it. And you know, Chanel has that on their records. It matches the authenticity card. That's how they just keep track of, you know, authentic items and things that they have. So I really like that, really cute. So the one thing, I'm, I'm trying to close the bag now and that's reminding me of something. So when I don't have, you know, the organizer in there or it's not full, when you try to close it, let me try to line this up. I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but I'm trying to push that little tab through and it's hard, you, you know, when it's empty to kind of pull that metal piece tab through to close it. So when it's flat and empty, that's a, a lot harder. So that's the one thing. And again, another good benefit of using the purse organizer is it keeps its shape. Um, if you don't use a purse organizer, it can quickly get flat, especially with this Urban Spirit backpack, something that you'll see if you look at pre-loved ones or ones on the market that people are reselling, the corners start to get a little saggy um, and you'll see a little bit of wrinkles. So that's why I really like, so again, this is kind of, you'll see it flatter here. Um, that's why I like to use the organizer, really good. Um, so just wanted to share a reveal of my mini Urban Spirit backpack. Um, in terms of review, I really like it. Again, it fits everything that I need to fit. Um, but again, if, if you're someone who carries a lot of things day to day, you know, take my um, feedback with a grain of salt because again, I don't use I don't carry a ton. I'm one of those really minimal people um, that don't require a ton of things. So I just wanted to share that. I really like the mini Urban Spirit backpack. I think it's really cute. You know, I've used it on um, trips or if you wanna be hands-free, throwing it on your back um, again, or if you just want it handheld, it's really cute if you kind of, you know, put your arm through it and hold it that way. So I think it's really functional um, and, and I really like it. I was going between, and I'm sure a lot of you, um, you know, in the Lux community, if you are into backpacks or have had the same thought, but I was initially going between this Chanel Mini Urban Spirit backpack and the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. So if you don't know what that bag looks like, I will include a photo here. It does, it's, a, it's also a little mini backpack. It comes in the classic monogram canvas print, so the LV print. And that one's really cute too. But in the end, I did go for the Chanel. Um, I just felt that, again, black and gold, again, with my style, works a lot better with my wardrobe, uh, sometimes I, 
sometimes I feel that the monogram print is a little loud. So, you know, from afar or if people aren't really into luxury, they may not know what this is. They just think it's a black backpack. Of course you see the CCs, but um, that's why I ultimately went for this. It's really sturdy. I just feel that if you do get the Urban Spirit backpack, I highly recommend getting a purse organizer or something to kind of both keep the shape and, and prevent the corners from sagging um, and to help organize you. Because again, at the end of the day, when you open it and look at it, it's just, it can be a big black hole. And this is the very smallest size, so I can only imagine the, the large backpacks. So I really highly recommend, I, I think it's super cute. Um, so, so let me know what you think. Do you have a backpack in your collection? If you do, what occasions do you use it for? And, and which backpack do you have? It doesn't have to be a luxury item, um, but of course, if you do, let me know. Uh, and if you don't have a backpack, you know, is, would that be something on your list? Would a, a mini backpack be on your wish list? Do you think that it's something that could fit your lifestyle? If so, which would you want to get? Or if not, if you feel that you're not a backpack person, I'd love to hear why. Let me know in the comment section down below. So that's it for today. If you like this type of content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I hope you join me in my next one. Thanks so much and have a great day.